six, a helping hand with your land. Neil from Essex here. We're out today to do a video on one of the Kubota accessory kits uh, that doesn't get a lot of press. Uh, if you have a Kubota standard L-series tractor from about the last 10, 12 years or so, you have turnbuckles on your three-point hitch. And there's a kit, model L8430, that would upgrade those turnbuckles to sway bars, making it a lot more convenient to take implements on and off your three points. So, gonna take a minute today, show you the kit, show you what it's gonna do for you, and if you choose to buy one, show you how to put it onto your tractor. So most economy tractors are going to have sway bars on the back of them in order to tension your three-point hitch. The way that's going to work is once you get your implement on the back and you get the arms over top of the pins and pinned in place, you need to decide how much sway you want in that implement, whether you want it rigid or you want it to be able to swing back and forth a little bit. In order to set that tension on a tractor with turnbuckles, you need to go and loosen up two jam nuts and then turn the central buckle in order to change the length on the rod here at the rear. Once you've got your length set right, you need to crank your jam nuts back down again. Now, ideally, once you've done that, if you don't want this thing to work loose on you at some point, you gotta get a wrench here in order to tighten these nuts down. You'll also find too, as your tractor ages and these parts start to get a little bit of corrosion or dirt on the threads, that these things can be a real bear to turn. And so you end up having to have a screwdriver or a wrench back here in your toolbox in order to stick into the middle of this turnbuckle to wrench the thing loose and get it turned over. The better way to do these is with sway bars. So Kubota's Deluxe Series tractors are gonna have these as standard equipment, but fortunately they do give an option in order to put the kit on your standard L-Series tractor. So if you got that L8430 kit, your three point's gonna look a little bit more like this, where you have this sway bar here in the rear. Using this sway bar, I can take this pin here in the back, pull it out, move the arm to where I want it, and then put the pin back in place again in order to lock it in so I don't have to worry about those threads and wrenches and that kind of stuff to tighten down my implements. It also gives you a really easy adjustment that if you want to have your implement rigidly mounted on the back of your tractor, you drop through the two pins here that aren't going to allow this thing to move much, or if you do want some sway, there's an elongated hole that you can slide the pin through the elongated hole and pin it in place there, allowing your three-point to easily move back and forth. So your adjustments back here with your more, uh, more deluxe three-point hitch can be done in seconds as opposed to minutes with tools. So in order to install the sway bar kit, we're just gonna need a couple of hand tools. Um, you're gonna need a 24 millimeter open-ended wrench in order to remove the large bolt from the, uh, the existing sway bars, a 22 millimeter wrench in order to tighten up the new ones, 14 millimeter wrenches in order to tighten the bolts up near the tractor, and then something in order to take the cotter pin off that's up on the, the holding on the existing sway bars. Um, I found a small pair of pliers worked out really well. Um, the set that I had here, the, the cotter pins were really bent far around, which is great. Thumbs up to the installer. Uh, but a screwdriver really helped to get that started and kind of get them pry to, pried away from the bolt that they were through. Um, so that's it. Just a handful of hand tools in order to put the sway bar kit on. Start cutting stuff open. Okay. Directions. Directions have three steps. So we got one sway arm. Got the other sway arm. And these are slid inside of each other, so all your parts are right there. Wrapped up inside of here are the two brackets that are going to go onto your three-point arms. And then all of your hardware, which I'm just going to keep right here on the workbench. So the installation instructions in order to put this thing on are really simple. There's only three steps. First, you want to remove the check chain assembly that's on there currently. There's a bracket up here at the top that needs swapped out. The silver bracket for the check, check chain needs swapped out for a bracket for the sway bar. And then you're gonna use two bolts in order to bolt the bracket on back at the base of the tractor. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is take off the existing check chains. It's gonna be the easiest to start by removing these bolts here in the back. If you do the other end first, it's gonna allow this thing to spin around while you're loosening this. So if you take off the big nut, 
while the check chain is still here, nothing's gonna be able to spin around. I'm using a 24 millimeter open-ended wrench in order to do this. So if the arm's removed now back here, you can see they dangle loose and it's easy to get back here now to get to the cotter pin that's here in the back. Uh, this cotter pin is holding this clevis onto the back of the tractor. If we take that cotter pin out, we can now remove the clevis assembly. So cotter pins are not a lot of fun to remove, but basically what you wanna do is take the pin here, the, from the factory, the ends of this thing are gonna be bent backwards around it. Um, between taking a pair of needle nose pliers and a screwdriver, you wanna take this pin and straighten it out. And once you've got it straightened out, you can take your pliers and typically tap it from this side to get it out of the hole, or we've done the work here already, so we can just grab this guy and pull it out. Once we pulled it out, you can remove this washer here, push this pin out, and the clevis down here on the end is gonna come unhooked from the tractor, and the entire sway bar is gonna come free. Once you've got the sway bar off, you can now put your new sway bars on. So we're first gonna take this guy back here, the open end, we're gonna come back here to the back of the tractor and put it back where we just removed that clevis from. You wanna watch, there is a top and a bottom side to these things. You want the curved side of this part up. The next step that we're gonna take is to put this bracket onto our three-point hitch. You'll see the bracket here has a tab on the top, that's to keep it from spinning around. So if we just bring it over here and put it through the hole in the three-point arm, the threading here will pop right through and we can screw a nut on. The directions don't show that you're supposed to use a washer or anything in here, but we found that the lock washer from the pieces that you removed is the right size to fit over top of there. Uh, so lock washers are never gonna hurt anything just to keep that thing from loosening up on you. The bolts that we took off of here were 24 mil. Uh, these guys are 22. So you need a little bit smaller wrench to put those on. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chain here and pin the uh, sway bar onto this bracket that we just put on. One thing that I caught here on mine is when the factory built these things and put them together, uh, the big hole, you gotta watch for the big hole in this piece, that's where you want your pin to go. Mine was on backwards actually, so that the big hole was in towards the tractor. So all I gotta do is flip that part around to put the big hole back here by the three-point arm and then line these guys up. Once that's lined up, we can take our pin, and drop our pin the whole way down through all of that. On the underside then, we're gonna put this washer and this cotter pin. So we put the washer over top first and then slide the cotter pin through the hole and then use a set of pot pliers to bend that cotter pin so it doesn't come out. With that in place then, you can take your pin now in order to lock your sway bars in place when they're going back and forth take your pin and you can drop it down through the hole. Now you can put it in any one of two positions in here. There's several spots where the holes are gonna line up perfectly and you can drop that pin in through the top and the bottom hole and it's gonna lock your arm in place relatively solid. Now if you have an implement that you wanna allow the implement to sway back and forth a little bit, um, say mowers for instance, I like to put my mowers and stuff in the position here where the, the hole is egged out a little bit, it's gonna allow my implement to swing back and forth a little bit. That way if my mower or something catches a stump or a rock or a groundhog hole, it allows it to swing away from the tractor and away from the obstruction a little bit. So the last step that we need to do is to tighten up this bolt here in the back that we left when we were going through and finger tightening things before. To do that, I'm gonna use two 14 millimeter wrenches and just simply tighten the bolt up. So that's a Kubota L8430 sway bar kit. If you'd like to upgrade your standard L tractor with one of these, give our parts department a call. It's a piece we typically do keep in stock. Our parts hotline number, drop you straight into our parts department, is 877-260-3528. If we can help you out, give us a call.